Are you eligible for VA financing? First of all, thank you very much for your service. I really appreciate everything that you guys and gals do out there for us, uh, protecting our freedom and protecting this country. Uh, thank you so much. And actually the VA loan is one of the great loan programs that I love to help veterans get into homes. So thank you guys so much for everything. Um, and if this is the first time you're checking out our channel, uh, thanks so much for checking us out. We talk about everything about home mortgages, real estate, anything in Las Vegas. If you're thinking about relocating here and maybe calling Las Vegas your new home, well, this is the right channel. We take you into all different neighborhoods, houses, everything you can think of to hopefully help you with your decision on whether or not you wanna live here. Um, and as always, hit the bell so that every time that we drop a video every week, you get notified of all of our new content. And if you guys got questions, uh, drop that in the comments below. Send me a message. I love talking to you guys. I love talking about real estate and anything that we can do to help you with your move. So like I talked about in the, in the beginning, we're gonna be talking about VA loans and bad credit scores. So a lot of times when I talk to customers and our clients, you know, some people will say, you know, hey, I've got a my score is bad or I've got a good credit score. Good and bad is pretty vague, right? We have to be a little bit more specific in terms of what our true score is. So just looking up on Experian's website, do you guys have an idea of what they deem as a bad credit score? Actually, comment below. I'd love to see what you guys guess a bad credit score is. Okay, so according to Experian.com's website, they actually say that anything under a 670 is considered bad. And in my opinion, I don't think that's bad. If you had a 660 credit score, that, that's actually pretty good. Um, every mortgage lender is gonna have different guidelines in terms of what, how low of a credit score they can go to. Certain loan programs have certain requirements. So it's not anything that's uniform across the board to say that, hey, if I have a 660 credit score that I'm guaranteed to get a mortgage. No, you're not guaranteed. The credit score is just one factor that a mortgage lender is gonna look at when getting you qualified for a VA loan. Now, here at Loan Depot, we can go as low as a 580 credit score for financing on a VA loan. Now, by definition of Experian, right, if, if you're at a 660, like I said, I think that's a great credit score. That's really good. Even at a 669, right? By definition, they're saying it's bad. So do some homework before you talk to a lender if you're unsure about what your credit score is. I'm not a huge fan of Credit Karma only because they typically give you bad information when it comes to your credit scores. Credit Karma is great to just keep in a monitor of what's on your credit report, making sure there's nothing you know inaccurate that's on there, um, people trying to take your identity or anything like that. But as far as credit score goes, I've typically seen the Credit Karma be at least 50 points or so higher than what any mortgage lender is gonna take a look at your credit. So I know a lot of you use Credit Karma, so just be a little careful if that's what you're using to make your decision as to whether or not you can qualify to buy a home. I always say if you're serious about buying, you need to let a mortgage lender pull your credit and let a professional tell you what your score is. Far too many times I hear people say, you know, I've got an 800 credit score and when we pull it, it's a 700 or a 720 or, I mean, I've even had one guy tell me once he had a 900 credit score. A 900, the score only goes to 850 and I've never seen an 850 in, in my entire life doing loans. So a lot of bad information out there. Again, if you're serious about buying and you wanna go the VA route, talk to a mortgage lender, make sure that they do offer VA loans um, because not every lender is good at doing them. Some lenders, you know, they might go their entire mortgage career and maybe only do a handful of VA loans. So you wanna make sure you're working with somebody that really understands the program. Because again, if, you have a, if your score is on the lower end of the spectrum, um, the VA loan is forgiving, so right, like I said, we can go to a 580, but you still want to work with somebody who understands the program, right? Because there's certain nuances within the VA loan that when we pre-approve you, we have to make sure that we're crossing the T's and dotting the I's, right? You can't skip over certain parts of the application, um, certain parts that we need to take into account when qualifying you in terms of your income and um, you know, dependents and stuff like that, we have to make sure that all those boxes are checked. 
And certain lenders, if they're unfamiliar with the program, they could easily skip over that, maybe pre-approve you for the wrong amount. And again, the last thing we ever wanna hear or have you guys run into is shopping for a home, finding out that you don't qualify for the property. So make sure you work with a reputable lender. Um, there's a lot of ways you can search for a lender online, whether it's on Zillow. If you have a specific name of a lender, you can look them up on Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn. There's so many different ways that you guys can find a great lender that can help you through the VA process. Now let's say you're using Credit Karma or, or Experian.com or one of these other websites and you actually pull your credit score up and let's say you've got a 500, right? Life hits you hard. You couldn't pay maybe on some credit cards. You had a car repoed or just some of these other things that life happens to us and sometimes we just, you know, we let our credit go. And guys, it's not anything personal, right? Any mortgage lender that's gonna look at qualifying you, honestly, we don't really care. We just need to know what happened, right? Did you lose your job? Was there a divorce? Was there something that just took place in your life that, you know what, hey, I had a bigger priority than you know, trying to make my car payment. And unfortunately, I had to let my car go because now, again, if we have that low credit score, what we wanna do is get you into a position to get to maybe that 580 mark, right? So at least you have the bare minimum to qualify. Now, some lenders, really take it upon themselves to do credit repair for you. Some people will just refer you to maybe some credit repair companies that they've worked with in the past that have done good work. Now I know credit repair has a really bad, bad stigma out there and a lot of people hate even the thought of going to credit repair because they feel like it's a waste of time. But get some, get some references, right? Maybe ask your lender, who do they use? Who can they recommend to you? Because if you've got a 500 credit score, I mean, you can be a mad all you want about a collection that you don't want to pay, but if buying a house is truly a goal of yours and a dream, guys, you got to face the music, man. We got to fix the credit because without the credit, you're not buying the house. And for all of you veterans that are out there, you've earned the right to use the VA eligibility for your loan with no money down. You can't let that just slip through your hands because of a collection or something else that happened years ago that you don't want to pay right? Put your pride to the side, pay that bill and let's move on. Because if we can get that credit score up to the 580, 600 mark, you are potentially eligible to purchase a home. Now we just got to look at your income. We got to make sure that there's not that you qualify for the mortgage and it's super easy to do. And once we get you to that point that you can buy, guys, that's the fun part. That's when it's fun to go look at houses and to be able to envision yourself and your family or maybe your future family, that this is the house that you're gonna live in. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna be cooking breakfast for my kids and this is where we're gonna build memories, right? Is it, it's, those are all the things that we, we wanna help you with when buying a house because that's the important stuff. If you missed a couple of credit card payments, let's fix it, right? Get with a lender. Get with someone who can just give you some good advice up front. And you know what? If it might take three months, six months, a year, that's totally fine because we're with you from start to finish. I've had clients that I've talked to over a year ago, sometimes even a year and a half, two years, where they've been working on credit and we continuously follow up just to make sure they're going down the right path, right? And we once they get their credit score high enough, we can get them qualified and get them into a home. So, you know, don't get discouraged if your credit's maybe not as high as you'd like. And I know sometimes you might be embarrassed, but it's okay. We're not here to judge you. We're here to make sure that if you tell me buying a house is a goal of yours, that we get you to that point and we make it happen. And another thing to keep in mind is, let's say you do have a credit score that's barely over 580 and you know, you're still working on maybe cleaning up a few things. I know a lot of people think that they have to have this 700 plus credit score in order to buy a house or I'm gonna have some crazy high interest rate. That's all false, right? The VA loan is backed by the government. So typically those types of loans like VA and FHA financing, they're gonna have little better interest rates. And the way interest rates are going today, they're still at all time lows. So you have an amazing opportunity to get into a house with a low interest rate in order to purchase. Now, just because you might have a lower score, remember, you're not gonna have a high interest rate. You're not gonna be talking about five, 6% or anything crazy like that. 
that doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. You're still gonna get pretty close to a market rate and it's gonna be pretty comparable so that way you're not gonna be having a super high mortgage payment. And again, that's the importance of knowing your numbers, working with a lender, and not making these assumptions or reading stuff online and just assuming that, hey, if my credit score is low, I'm gonna have a 5% interest rate, my mortgage payment's gonna be a thousand bucks higher a month, totally not the case, right? A lot of times you need to get with a lender, let them look at your credit, right? Is there anything that they can fix for you immediately or maybe give you some quick pointers that maybe in the next 90 days, we could do what's called a rapid rescore, re-pull your credit and you might gain 30 points, 40 points, and now you can buy. But it's like being sick and not wanting to go to the doctor. The doctor's gotta see you in order to diagnose the problem. Same thing with us in lending, right? I can't help you if you don't ask the question or you don't reach out to us and let us look at your credit. Let us do the application. Let us look at your overall financial situation and give you some guidance. And again, it could take three months, it could take one month. Buying a house is not difficult. You just gotta get with the right person to give you the right guidance. Um, and I really believe that anything is possible, especially buying a house. It's just literally a matter of just connecting the dots, right? And it all starts with the first step is getting with a lender, getting to know what your credit score is, not necessarily trusting what you see online, get it from the professional, and then get some real guidance because Again, a 580 is doable. And I guarantee you a lot of you that are probably watching this think that maybe your credit score is not the greatest, but you're probably over a 580 and you could probably purchase a house. So, you know, don't take it from experience website saying that if you've got a 670, that's bad. That's a good score, right? Get with a lender, get some good information, get some accurate information so that way you can start to figure out what it's gonna take for you to become a homeowner. So I hope this video helps you understand that Buying a house with a bad credit score and using VA financing is very doable. If you guys have specific questions, comment below. Um, if you guys need help with your credit, we can obviously recommend some credit repair companies that have helped a bunch of our clients in the past um, to get you back on your feet, get you on the right path. You know, and if you guys uh, enjoy this, share this with your friends, hit the bell, like, like the video. So all that stuff helps us helps us spread the love, spread the education to all the other future homeowners that are out there. And again, for all of you veterans, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your service and everything that you do for us and our country. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.